What up, fam? It's your boy, Big Guns. <clears throat> We're going to talk Call of Duty real quick. This game that you have right here, this is just uh, Homefront. Uh, the new Homefront game, The Revolution. Now, I haven't posted any gameplay of Homefront. I don't know if I will. I, I might post a few games here and there. I don't know. I don't know yet about it. But the reason behind it is just simply uh, Homefront is only going to be a co-op game. They have the story mode and then they have a co-op uh, game, like 20 mi uh, missions. You play with, with, with you and three other people. And I don't like co-op games. I don't like playing against AI. I like games where I play against other people and it's my skill against somebody else's skill. Rather than play my skill against AI. I don't like that. So uh, that's why I kind of, you know, I'm not really, um, don't really want to post uh, any game from here. Because I just, it's just not my, my cup of tea. So, but anyway, the reason that, the reason why I'm posting this is because even though it's a co-op game, that doesn't mean that it doesn't have good things. And one of the good things that this game have is this part right here. Now, as many people have seen already, there's been an announcement, an official announcement by Activision that Infinity War will be making the next game that we're going to have a new Call of Duty coming out 2016. Now, I know they have, have an announcement that was made by Call of Duty, by Activision, is that Black Ops 3 uh, has uh, sur surpassed for people playing the game in December and on, on January. I mean, November and December of people playing the game. Now, I don't believe that because Black Ops, at one point, there were like 3 million people playing. I don't believe that the, the Black Ops three have more than three million people playing in the months of November and December. I just don't believe it. But I do believe that they surpass advanced warfare angles. That I believe. I don't think they, they surpass Black Ops three Black Ops two. Um but I believe that it has surpassed Ghost and Advanced Warfare. I do believe that. But uh, another piece of news that uh, came about was also uh, uh, Infinity War, uh, talking about innovating and good and new things they're bringing into the table. Now, I believe that the next Call of Duty is going to feature a new engine for 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 uh, for this game, and within the, this new engine, they're gonna change things around or how you are or, or like the perk system and things like that and if they're going to change the perk system this is something that i would like to see as you guys can see this character right here if i go back you see i could pick from a number of characters but that's not that's not the the the, the thing here i want to show you once you choose a character in this game, you see you have different personalities. You got a personal trainer, and you see at the bottom, if you, at the bottom they give you a description of the trainer, then they tell you the uh, the what what is your ability is. You know, it's like right here say you you know how to push through the pain, using it to your advantage. Move faster when on critical health. So that's your perk. When you are hurting, you get to move fast. You move faster. So I guess, you know, so you can uh, avoid getting shot more. And uh, this is something that I would like to see Activision and uh, Infinity War, which is the next, the, the next developer. This is something I would like to see Infinity War kind of like implement into the game. When you have different characters and each character has their ability, 
You feel me? Like look at Cap Driver. Cap Driver, his ability, he has uh, that your RC car uh, is faster and has greater range. See, see that. Now let's let's look at this Steve Steve Door. I don't know what this is. A slightly increased time taking to bleed out when down. See that? Look at that. The sec the third, the fourth one. A uh, labor uh, receive extra health after being revived. See, this is different abilities. Now, you could take this this idea and implement it into the next game. You you feel me? And the way you can do this is like. You could, you could you could have the perk system, don't get me wrong, but your character could have a, an ability that is, that is unique to that character. For example, you could take a character and make him a, 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 a character that is a, a faster, right? So this particular character is a rusher, put it like a rusher, right? This character will move a little bit faster than all the characters, you know, and then you can add perks to that character, the particular Russia character and make it your own. You know what I'm saying? You could put one that is, for example, Marsman, that will be more of a camper character and that camper character, the same thing. You could add abilities to that camper character that will increase uh, to make it your own, you could personalize it, you know what I'm saying? You could have one called a uh, Jogona uh, or something like that, you know? And this character, you know, also, you know, you, you get what I mean. Characters, um, abilities to characters, and you could pick those characters. That that, that would be the your way you play the game. And you can add things to those char to that character and make it your own. This is one thing that I like about this game. Now, for example, if I were to play Peach Arm, um, throw further, toss some good cheese. Okay. Look at this. Receive extra. Okay, let's see. If I go over here and pick a character real quick. Let me see what one character that will be more like me. There you go. Look at this one. It's more like you get you get you get a, a cost extra a, a less SP. So this character right here will be something like that. I will use. You see what I'm saying? Because I can get I can get to my Q streaks uh, in in less time. It will cost me less SP to get to my to my to my Q streaks. You see what I mean? Now, quick play, Armory. Look at that. Now we go over here. Quick play. We go to quick play. Now, this is the thing I don't like about this game. You feel me? This game is a co-op game. And because it's a co-op game, that's why I don't, I don't like it. You feel me? That's why I don't like the game. Because it's a quick, it's a co-op game. And, and, and that's the problem with it. Now, I'm gonna play the game real quick because I wanna show you something else. Like, the way that this game go uh, changes, uh, changes, changes uh, weapons and whatnot. In this game, you can, um, you can change You can change, uh, let's look at the control layout real quick. Okay. You can change, in this game you can change, look, nobody is playing. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. Uh, let me leave. Play for the first time. Okay, we play again. Let me show. Let me see if I just go to any and uh, be able to show you guys something. I the reason why I'm playing because I want I want to show you guys something real quick so you guys can see something. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna have, um, stop right here and I'm gonna go come back in a minute when I started playing so I can show you guys. So I'm pause it. Here we go. Real quick. All right. Now you guys see. Be back when they stop playing. I could change my scope if I had another scope in game. That and that's something that I wanted to show you guys. Look. I press right here. And I can change my scope in game. I can change my scope in game. The barrel, I could change my barrel. I could change my 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 assault rifle conversion. I can change my scope. You look at that. In game. When I'm playing the game, I could do this. And this is something that I like about this game. And I think that in Activision should um including their game the fact that you can do this in game i don't have to die and then change character i can just come in game while i'm playing the game and modify my rifle my weapon to a particular situation you feel me i said for instance i i'm i'm um i'm over here and and i got this weapon right here and i'm firing my weapon for the enemy is coming and, and there's, a, uh, there's a sniper shooting at me. I don't see him. I could crush right here. Come out like this. Change my scope. Get a scope, a scope that magnify vision scope type of thing. Um, come out here. Look for him. Pam, 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 pam. Shoot him, kill him real, real quick. You feel me? That's what I like about this game. And this is something that Activision should have. Say, for instance, I'm running over here, pam pam pam, running, and and uh, and I'm and I'm looking for enemies and whatnot, and I I need to uh, I'm getting close to an enemy. I gotta counter the enemy, and the enemy is coming, and I need uh to be uh, uh silence or whatever. I could come over here, put a silencer, so the enemy won't see me. When I'm shooting at them, see what I mean? You see that? That's that's what I like about this game. Conversion. Look, if I want to, if I'm running real quick and I'm counting many enemies, I might want to change my my rifle to an uh, to a uh, uh, make it make it one more uh, get my uh, rifle into a uh, assault rifle into a SMG, so I can come up and switch my rifle to a SMG. You feel me? right on the spot you know because i encounter more enemies so i can go ahead press here convert my rifle to smg get back into a fight and that smg i could put a, a red dot i could put a silencer on that smg that's what i like about this game and it's sad that this game is not a traditional multiplayer because you know it, it, it's, it's, it's something that that I was looking forward to play, but anyway, Infinity War needs to, to introduce this to the game, to the Call of Duty game. They need to introduce doing this, um, doing doing this thing right here. This is this has to be on Call of Duty. It's about time that they do something like this on Call of Duty. Okay, now, um. This is about the only thing I like about this game right here. The fact that I can do this, 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 I can change on the fly my my stuff and I can customize my weapon what I mean play. It's, it's a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing, man. And, and I, you know, like I say, I think Activision should do this on the next game. You got a new engine coming out. You could do this. You could do this. If these people can do this, you can do it yourself. Um, so another thing about Call of Duty that uh, um, 
I believe that it's, it's gonna it's gonna happen. I think the next Call of Duty is gonna be a space type of Call of Duty. Most likely, maybe a uh, space warfare uh, could be the name of it, or a galactic warfare. But I'm, I'm leaning more to space warfare, and that's that could be a good thing because now we might have an identifiable enemy, which probably be like aliens or something like that that we will be fighting against. And that will be good because now we have an identifiable enemy again and we can and we can fight um this enemy and 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 um and um and we don't know who's the enemy and who's not. Also we probably will be fighting in a in a imaginary planets and whatnot, you know, landscapes and, and stuff like that. I don't think that we're gonna have the roll the wall running and and the and the and the boosting that we have now there will be some type of boosting uh because you know you own space or whatnot but i don't think that you're gonna have the type of boosting that you have in these other games i just don't see it but I, I, it's gonna be a lot less but i think we're gonna be fighting aliens and combating aliens and i think that's what the story is going to be about uh so um what well, we'll see but i think that's what the next call of duty is going to be and the reason behind i think that is because Act uh, activision infinity wars they're using words like innovative um, um new things bringing to the table stuff like that you know if you're telling me you're bringing new, new, new things into the table and innovation and whatnot, then that tells me that the next game is not gonna be, it's not gonna be a, a, a modern warfare game because there's nothing uh, new about that. It's not gonna be Ghost Two because there's nothing new about that. What it was well, something that could be new is the fact that you're fighting aliens. That could be new because we never had a Call of Duty when you'll be fighting aliens. And then another thing that that you got to look at is that Modern Warfare 3, there were aliens introduced. I know there were monsters, but there was aliens, nonetheless. So it won't be that hard for Activision or Infinity War to introduce aliens into the game and where we'll be fighting aliens. So... I think that's what the next Call of Duty is gonna be, man. I wish it was like this. Like, look at this map. Look at those buildings, bro. They're all messed up. Everything is um, isolated. Everything is destroyed. This is what I miss about Call of Duty. I wish that their maps be like this. If you bring us an alien type of game, um, you could have maps like this because the aliens have come to Earth. They destroy the Earth. There's warfare going on, you know, buildings are destroyed. So we could have buildings like this. We could have cities like this on the next Call of Duty, you know, and it will be new because it will be kind of like Independence Day type of thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think the next Call of Duty is going to be. You know, we're going to, we're going to have, we're going to fight aliens. So, you know, that's all I got to say, man. Um. Thank you. I appreciate you guys watching and 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 uh, staying tuned with my videos and what I had to say, whatnot. I thank you for that. Appreciate your your uh, your viewing and your uh, participation on my videos, man. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit a, uh, share the video, hit the like button, and and share your comments, man. Let me know uh, how you think. What you think about it? You think we're gonna have? Uh, a alien type of uh, game where we're gonna be fighting aliens. Uh, do you like? Do you like this? Do you like the fact that you want to see this in Call of Duty when you could change your scope, you could change your your barrel, you could change even your weapon, you could change your weapon in in, in gameplay. Do you like that? You know, what I'm saying that you like that you like do you like uh, to be able to do this in gameplay you know what i'm saying let me know in the comments man so that's it for me man i have talked long enough 
Thank you for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Peace and uh, adios.